everyone, InfoSec Operator here. Today in this video we're going to be learning how to program a port scanner using Python. So the very first thing that we should do is find out where our Python interpreter is. So we type in which Python and we can see that it is in slash user slash bin slash Python that's going to be important when we do this very next step so you want to type in nano and you want to give your Python script a name so I'm just going to call it scanner.py and press enter so in order for the program to work though we need to define uh, or tell that program rather excuse me um, that it needs to run off of the Python interpreter so we do that by using hashtag exclamation mark slash user slash bin slash Python and I did user wrong USR I guess it would help if I could spell the scripts correctly so jump down to the next line and we want to do import socket so if you're unfamiliar with sockets, sockets tell the ports um, how to operate and essentially how to transmit data. You can actually program your own sockets and eventually I will show each of you how to do that. But for now, we want to define or we want to tell ourselves or whoever's using this program IP equals raw underscore input parentheses and our quotation marks enter the IP address and end quotation so we want actually let's put a colon and we want to move space end quote there we go then we want to also we want the program to ask for which port are we looking at so we'll call it input and we're going to say enter the port number colon and quotes and parentheses moving on to the next line we want to define the socket what type of transmitted data are we looking for what to be more specific what protocol are we asking for to see so sock equals socket dot socket and parentheses in or, um, yeah parentheses and we want to choose which protocol which you can define more than one so for this tutorial I'm going to type socket dot AF underscore inet and this is going to allow us to see TCP connections and the other one that I'm going to define is socket dot sock underscore stream this allows us to look at UDP protocol so anything that's essentially streaming um, video or audio so we can jump down to the next line and we want to say if so we're gonna have an if statement sock dot connect and we want to do underscore EX otherwise if we just say connect and it doesn't find an open port it's going to crash our program so underscore ex and then double parentheses IP comma port so it calls on the IP and the port uh, so if either the IP is down or the port is closed we're going to tell it to print so we want to indent this highly important print that the port so quotes port and then comma port so that'll reference the port number that we tried to uh, scan is closed and then end quote on that 
then we go down and we want to say else colon so enter again and go to the same indentation that the first print report was at and we're going to define print again port again comma port and comma is but this time is open okay so that's the end of our quick script nothing too hard control X and hit yes to save scanner.py now here's the tricky part you might just be um, you know you may just want to jump straight into getting your program running and we can do that but as we see when we build our own scripts in Kali Linux the permission is denied well why well because we didn't define that it we need to access it so we do the chmod as I taught in the other lesson and I'm going to give root full permission and other users in the public only tiny bits of permission and then we define our so scanner dot pi and that should give us our program so scanner dot pi now I need to enter the IP address so whenever you're doing scanning you find the IP address that you want to do uh, that you want to, to target and then you enter the port number what port do we want to see is open and I'm going to say port 80 and it just says that port 80 is open okay so just a fun little script uh, to get you guys started in scripting your own hacking programs uh, that's for, more for an intermediate or advanced level or if you have a really deep background in programming then this should be really easy for each of you but uh, alright guys so thank you for watching and uh, this has been a tutorial by InfoSec Operator and I'll see you guys in the next video